Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And uh, today I have brought uh, my original challenge. Uh, it's a very interesting problem. Uh, the title of the problem is electric field due to Severella. And what's a Severella? Severella is a special kind of umbrella where you can enjoy the rain. Uh, you get a, you get wet a little bit, but you don't get wet too much. And let's see how that works. So let's straight away get into the problem. So here's my problem okay so let me read out the problem formally for you so uh, electric field due to a severella so to get a little weight in rain but not too much you can use a severella okay and what's a severella it's an umbrella with holes okay it's an umbrella with holes the shown severella has a charge density sigma in the black shaded region and the rest of it is just holes so as you can see here uh, this this uh, this this region is completely uh, black shaded so this has got a charge density sigma and not only this has got a charge density sigma if you see this region here also there are some some there are some black squares and there are some holes then there are black squares and holes so uh, you can see there are uh, equal number of black squares and uh, holes over uh, in this region okay so i hope you understood the structure of a severello of course this i have shown for aesthetic reasons uh, this is the area of interest for us okay so the shown severella has a charge density sigma in the black shaded region and rest of it is just holes okay so rest of them are just holes calculate the electric field at its center of curvature so if you uh, model this as cap of a sphere then there will be some center of curvature and we have to calculate the electric field at the center of curvature because of the given charge density okay calculate this electric field at center of curvature assuming its shape to be cap of a sphere of radius r and the semi vertex angle as theta so this angle at the center of curvature the extremities obtains an angle theta okay so i hope you have understood the problem if you want you can give it a try i'll get get into my analysis right away okay so let me analyze this problem okay let's see so uh, what i have done uh, uh, i have tried to show this uh, severella uh, schematically in form of cap of a sphere and what i'll do my idea is that i'll find the field due to a small uh, uh, patch on this hemisphere at the center of curvature and then I'll integrate uh, not really integrate you'll see there's a smart trick of doing the whole thing without uh, using any uh, integration this, uh, but just for argument's sake I'll consider an element and I'll find the field due to the element over here and then I'll see what will happen to, uh, to the field due to uh, all this all such elements so suppose I have a small element uh, patch uh, having some charge density sigma over here so what is the charge over here the charge is sigma into ds right sigma into ds is the charge and this distance is r so what is the field at point p it is simply uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon into sigma ds upon r square that is the field uh, now uh, by symmetry you will see there are so, so many black patches everywhere and uh, there is a uh, symmetric kind of uh, uh, geometry here so there is no preference for field being to the left or right or coming out of the page or in, inside you can see by symmetry the field must be uh, vertically downward so i need to take the downward component of this field before i integrate over the entire uh, cap okay so that's what i've written see consider a small patch ds on the cap of sphere being uh, having a local charge density okay uh, local charge density let's say uh, sigma okay the vertical component of electric field at point p let me also keep this figure in uh, uh, screen okay so uh, the vertical component of electric field at point p due to this patch is given by de is equal to sigma ds upon r square the 1 by 4 pi into sigma ds by r square into cos phi as i told you so this is our electric field okay now uh, ds cos phi it's a very special number you have come across uh, uh, this ds cos phi concepts in so many places maybe while finding the excess pressure in a bubble or uh, so many other places you must have come across this term ds cos phi and what is ds cos phi and even in finding electric flux many times you come across this ds cos phi and ds cos phi is nothing but shadow area of this patch so if you imagine if light is coming from the top and this uh, falls on this ds area and uh, let us say this angle is phi then uh, the shadow of this ds on the on, a, on the surface which is perpendicular to the light rays is nothing but ds cos phi okay so i can say this ds cos phi i can replace by ds cos phi as shadow area of ds or i can call it ds shadow okay so uh, that's what I've, uh, i'll write so now recognize that ds cos phi is nothing but shadow area of ds as shown in the figure okay now uh, okay so uh, 
uh, here's our geometry okay and also by symmetry of the problem net field at p must be vertical that i told you so like there's a there's a ds patch over here then there will be another symmetric ds patch and because of that vertical components should add up and horizontal components should cancel out because of the symmetry of the problem right uh, if you look at this uh, umbrella structure also it's uh, kind of symmetric uh, in the radial direction how see uh, this is uh, 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 i mean you can say checkered kind of arrangement and then there is solid then checkered then solid then checkered so uh, you can imagine that it will have uh, one two three four five uh, and uh, maybe uh, yeah five uh, uh, two at the back also so it will have total 10 such uh, these things and there, there is some kind of a radial symmetry and that's why the field is going to be only vertical okay that's what i've written also by symmetry of the problem net field at point p must be vertical okay and uh, now using equation one and shadow area concept so what is the equation one uh, i wrote equation one here that was just the field due to the patch okay so i hope equation one was clear and then uh, ds cos phi i am writing as shadow area so this simply becomes sigma upon 4 pi epsilon r square into ds shadow i hope yeah i have written r square here yeah so this is sigma by 4 pi epsilon r square into ds shadow okay and now if i just can find out ds shadow then my work is done i will be at the solution right also note that three fourth of the umbrella canopy is charged and accordingly out of the circular shadow of the canopy also only three fourth will be the actual shadow area see uh, if you consider this umbrella carefully uh, in the uh, the checkered board type of uh, i mean uh, view you can see that 50 percent of this is uh, black and then uh, the this one is uh, completely black so overall if you see uh, uh, three fourth of the umbrella is covered and uh, one fourth of it is just holes okay so accordingly when you take its shadow uh, in the horizontal plane there also uh, one fourth uh, will be illuminated and three fourth will be uh, dark uh, shadow right so keep that in mind okay so that's what i've written also note that three fourth of the umbrella canopy is charged accordingly out to the circular shadow of the canopy also only three fourth will be the actual shadow area other areas being luminous if the light is falling right so what is the effective shadow area see uh, this is our cap and this is r and this angle is given as theta in the problem so that means the horizontal radius becomes what r sin theta so this uh, complete area will become pi r square sin square theta uh, but i just need to consider three fourth fraction of it why because uh, other one fourth part is just holes okay so effective uh, shadow area is pi r square sin square theta into three by four and now what i need to do i just need to put this in this equation and simplify so you just put 3 by 4 uh, pi r square sin square theta and the sigma by 4 pi epsilon r square comes as it is and you multiply r square goes with r square pi goes with pi and what are you left with you get 3 by 16 epsilon naught and sin square theta okay so that's our answer and uh, that was my problem i uh, felt very good after making this problem and i hope uh, you equally enjoyed uh, the analysis of this problem and if you like the analysis of this problem uh, please do uh, uh, hit uh, hit the like button and please share this video as much as possible with your friends and uh, uh, and uh, most important i mean uh, share this through whatsapp telegram discord server or uh, whatever medium you use for uh, networking with your fellow students and uh, most importantly, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to bring out a new video every day. And thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.